Aquarius. Welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing. Also, I'm also an author. I've written two books so far. You might want to check out what they're about in the description box below. Okay, everybody. So welcome, welcome back. Um, I know this is only the beginning of April, but by the time I do the Zodiacs again, it's uh, Easter will be over, so we are set up here for Easter. Easter is um, all about Jesus, and so when we're dealing with the Jesus factor, I use the medieval Scapini Tarot. This is a vintage deck, says here 1985. I use this deck because it has a lot of Catholic aspects to it, um, a lot of Jesus stuff. So uh, since we've got the Jesus factor going on, we're also going to ask Jesus himself what's up. And then we've got the keepers of the light deck here. Jesus, Mary Magdalene, and Mother Mary are in this deck. And I'm going to also be using the Angel Answers deck here. This has uh, two yes cards and two no cards. So if you have a question you'd like a yes or no answer to, you might want to think of that right now. You might get a yes or no answer. You might not. But I'll let you know when um, I start on that deck to remember your, um, your question. Okay, so the bottom of the deck, I got the chariot and the ace of wands. There's something that you want victory over. You've got a lot of passion going on about something right now. This, oh, yep, and it's your destiny too. This passion, um, this is the kind of passion that makes you want to get up and tackle your day. I'm looking at all these clovers. So this is a lot of luck here as well. Look, there's somebody down here with uh, some kind of musical instrument that they're showing me. Um, and that's about it. Now, the Wheel of Fortune, this is a, a number 10. This is a, a very powerful ending. So there, this is some kind of fate that will bless you. A really um, awesome fate coming in here. Uh-huh, something came to light, some sort of secret maybe. Maybe your intuition was off about something. All right, let's see what's up. What's going on for Aquarius? Okay. Hmm. All right. You are not going to be walking away from something. You've possibly made a decision here. Four more cards, please. Hmm. Toxic masculine energy going on here. Okay, you got Knight of Swords. The five of wands in the reverse and the lovers in the reverse. Okay, so you've got the nine of cups at the bottom. This is about wish fulfillment. This is about you getting what you want. This is about feeling emotionally um, satisfied here. So what we got here right off the bat is the eight of cups. Eight of cups is when you are so emotionally fed up, you just walk away. But you're not doing that. This might have something to do with love. We've got a, a couple here, right here in the middle. Uh, we've got all these different scenes. So it's like all this stuff has gone on, but you're not going to be moving on. You have made some sort of decision. You may have found some kind of balance. Um, what? Okay, hang on. Okay, so my spirit guides said, um, remember this card. I just got this card for Gemini, but I didn't get this message for my guides. Um, but my guides are all, remember that this card means something pretty different here in this deck, okay? Um, most of the time when you get the two of coins, you'll see somebody juggling, okay? But this isn't, this is, a, this is about the story of Susanna. I don't know what that is about. It must be a biblical story, perhaps. But having it in the reverse here, what this means in this particular deck, it says liter literary ability, agility in handling matters, simulated enjoyment, or forced gaiety, letter, message, missive. Okay, so you may have um, gotten some sort of message. It could have been about money here because this is a, a pentacle card, a coins card. But you may also... Um, 
The message may be about people pretending that they're happy when they're not. Okay. And that makes more sense with this emperor in the reverse. Okay. Somebody's not moving on. There's been a message about that not moving on and then the this is toxic um masculine energy this is manipulation this is anger this is abuse of power um this is also the card for aries there may be an aries in your life that is angry right now um, or a father who is angry right now Um, yeah, they, they are pretending, they're pretending to be happy, but they're not. You got a, a letter about it. Look at how she's looking at herself in the mirror. I feel like this is how this emperor is looking at it. She looks so disappointed in herself. Now, I don't even know what this story of Susanna is about. I should probably look it up, but, but then the next card that we have, we have your knight, uh, Aquarius. This is the, the uh, knight of swords, your air energy, your sword energy. Traditionally, though, this is a Gemini card. So there may be a Gemini in your life who might be ready to go to war or some knights bring movement. So somebody might be coming in, bringing you a big old honking truth. It could be that you got a message, but then somebody might come in like actually travel to you, actually visit you with some sort of truth. And then what we have here is the five of wands, which is more fire energy. The five of wands is usually uh, about a conflict, but it's not something that's really bad. It's like once it's over with, everybody's better for it. Well, I feel like it, it's, this is the more, um, it's not over. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Like there may be a conflict going on because look at this. There, there's something that you may have considered moving on from, but you're not. And you get this, this um, message about somebody pretending to be happy, but they're not because they're actually uh, angry or being manipulated by somebody like this. And then somebody actually comes to see you um, and you realize that this conflict isn't over between two people oh wow so okay so the lovers is also gemini so there may be a gemini involved here okay what you know this may be you coming in with the truth uh trying to fix this conflict but it doesn't maybe you know maybe you there's something about a gemini maybe you want to go you express your truth to a Gemini, but it's, it's not, maybe they won't feel the same way. And you've been conflicted on the inside about it. Wow, there's a lot of messages going on here. Um, this is divorce and separation of a, of a couple. They may even be um, like a twin flame or divine couple type deal, because that's why you've got this angel up here, this angelic uh, centaur. Um, all right, so let's check out Jesus's deck. What's up, Jesus? What What do you have to say here to Aquarius about this uh, conflict that is not over yet? Wait, hang on. Okay, so again, my guides told me to check the little book that comes with this tarot and the five of wands in the reverse. Yes, it's about this conflict and everything, but in this particular deck, in the reverse, it means trickery, contradictions, complexity, involvement, and caution against indecision. Okay, now I see why my guides told me to check that out because um, this is a lot like indecision most of the time. This upright in this particular deck means new possibilities. This deck is something else. It was hard for me to learn tarot with this deck here because uh, it's so different from, say, the Rider Waite, okay? But so I'm just, I often feel many um, things from one card. And so this is, this could be a decision that hasn't been made yet here, 
okay? Because this is, you know, as above, so below here. So we've got, you know, the five of wands talking about involvement, contradictions. It's, this is very complex. This is a complex thing that um, you need to be cautioned about indecision, okay? So let's see here. Maybe what there was like a, instead of giving up, maybe you went to war and yeah, it's, it, that's just bringing some negativity here. Because the Knight of Swords will rush off to war. He moves very fast. He is the fastest knight in the deck. He will, like, be across the room and, it, you, like, you won't even see him rush towards you when he cuts you. You know what I mean? He's that fast. He's, like, rushing in with some sort of truth that might be um, hurtful or a little, um, what's the word? Blunt. Pardon me. Your heavenly father knoweth that you have need of all these things. Okay. So, um, spirit is telling you, they, they know what you want here. Spirit knows what you want. Uh, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place and it shall remove. Wow. That's pretty wordy for the, um, if you say to the mountain, you will move, it will move. Okay, so this is saying that you are pretty flippin' powerful. Okay, this is a manifestation ability, okay? Because, oh wow, because right now it says, look, ask and it shall be given you. Be careful what you ask for, you know? But um, this, this feels like encouragement. Um, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. Okay, so this is saying that the mysteries are open to you. This is saying that this, the mysteries of the universe itself are ready and available for you to connect with and understand. Um, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Okay, so yeah, so like say, say what you did was you went to war. Okay, maybe you called somebody out. Maybe you went there and you said a few things or, you know, maybe you uh, put some stuff in a public arena like social media for everyone to see. And, and now things are more complex and it didn't help, right? So this is saying be a peacemaker instead, okay? And then watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. Yeah, so be a peacemaker, not the opposite. That's pretty flippin' clear right there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All right, let's see. We're at 12 minutes here. Let's see what we get here from the keepers of the light deck. Charity, prayer, and contemplation. Connect with heaven. Ask and you shall receive. That is like the freaking same thing. They're saying that heaven is watching you. Jesus knows what you want. He just said that. Life force. Express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. Okay, so now I'm getting a feeling like maybe there's somebody that uh, it could be a Gemini or something that you want to be with, but they're not quite into it yet. But I feel like, I don't know, maybe, maybe if you believe in yourself more or if you were a peacemaker more than a war maker, things might change. I don't know. Let's see what's up here. What else? What else? What else for Aquarius? At least one more card, please. Something very clear. That was obviously your card here. Holy Amethyst. Divine Alchemy. Move beyond current challenges. Focus on what you desire. Yeah, the, it, okay, so heaven is telling you that, it, you know, your guides, your angels, spirit themselves, itself, knows what you want. So focus on what you want. But move beyond these current challenges. This is a challenge. This is... This is a challenge. Somebody may have challenged you. Somebody may have gone to war, okay? So, and then underneath, you've got hope, love, and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. So, yeah, so the hope. I was just like, why am I saying that maybe there's someone that doesn't think that you guys would work out, but you really like them a lot, and 
there it is hope there is hope for some of you if that's your case where there's like a gemini or somebody else that you're interested in and this this um cranky emperor could be their ex or something um even if it's a woman it doesn't matter you have hope they they say ask and you shall receive but it's telling you to like get in a better place be peaceful be a peacemaker um, not a, a warmonger. Um, so I'm not saying that that's what you've done, but, um, that's, this is the message I'm getting here. You know, and what, what we got Sir Nunes here, he, he's got two kinds of, uh, horns here and he's got these ram horns and that's what Aries is. And that's what the emperor is up here. Uh, express your driving passion, uh, a sec sensual and sexual powers are increased that is he's sir nunas is like the emperor as well okay he he is the um the masculine life force so maybe if you're a, a masculine if you consider yourself a masculine it could be that your masculine energies are a bit off or you're not believing in them but your sexual and your sensual and sexual powers are increased once you balance out the, those um, toxic. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I just started shuffling, but this is the deck where you get a yes or no answer. Whatever you um, asked, it's a no. Okay, so I think that this this is probably about you know did well actually they're saying that, that you're going to know what that no is about i don't have to worry about it okay well let's get some more messages here though for this read rather than your question wow no again with an exclamation mark okay and i have a couple more cards Thank you. I got exactly a couple more. Oh my goodness, guys. This you're if you are having a hard time accepting the fact that they said no, no exclamation mark. Oh. Yeah, recovery. There's some recovery to be done here and there's something better. Okay. So, for some of you this is not giving up. I mean, this is not hanging on. For some of you, this is letting go, okay? They know what you want. It's probably just not this person. Although I still feel like for some of you, there, there is hope, okay? And you're gonna know who you are, but I'm thinking that for most of you here, this is a separation, this is a divorce. You, you will recover for, from it. You need to go through a period of recovery, but there's something better waiting for you. That's why you keep getting these messages that spirit knows what you want. You might be like, but I want this and this and this, and this person is just not giving that to me. So spirit is saying, okay, I know what you want, but you got to let go of this person or I can't give it to you because you're going to manifest what you ask for. Get more information. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay. So if you're confused right now about whether or not this no is for you to move on or not, they're telling you to get more information. When I get this card, this is when I look around. I look around for signs, okay? The universe will speak to you through nature, but that also uh, includes everything. You might think that uh, like a billboard isn't nature. It is. It was put there by human beings, and human beings are part of nature. So if you're out and about and you're looking around, and you're seeing a lot of signs that say you have hope and go for it and this is the right thing that's when you have hope to hang on with this this relationship but if you go around and you know wherever you look even if you're just scrolling on your phone if you start seeing a bunch of um, messages that say you need to move on let this person go um, messages about self-love and don't let people uh, treat you better or especially if you see 
these words recovery or this this phrase there's something better if you see those kinds of things you see a lot of green here for healing that's when i think you're being told a big honk and no notice how this green is on this card just like these you see that they have the frame around them with a little bit of green all around whereas see this one doesn't have any green it's just all gold so these are all going together there's something better you will recover from this separation or divorce and there will be something better for you coming okay oh and look look what's right underneath this no there is no compromise in this relationship when it's a no. When they're telling you to leave this relationship, there will be no compromise. There will be no balancing out. There, there will be no um, working it out. Okay. Wow. Okay. So um, that's what I have for you today, Aquarius. That was, woo, that was something else. But I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope you have a great Easter and I'll see you next time.